Hi everybody! So today I thought I'd come with you with a small update on yesterday. Matthew's birthday was, it was magical. It was really special. Um, I had a lot of NSVs that I didn't think I would have. Um, a lot of breakthroughs mentally that I didn't think I would have. Um, it was just an amazing time. Uh, we went out to San Francisco. Um, driving there, we got there a little late, and then we went to go visit his family. Uh, and we hung out there for a couple hours and just had a good time and talked. And <clears throat> there was a time um, a couple years ago to where I would be very uncomfortable being around his family, any of his family. So to go in there and feel confident and, you know, feel happy to be around his family was, was really nice for me. Um, <laughs> distract the source Rex. Strikes again. It's very hot here. Uh, yesterday when we got in the car, it was 107. And then as soon as we got to San Francisco, it was 68 degrees. Yeah. Um, I wore boots that laced up my calf. Uh, that's the very first time out in public that I wore boots like that. Um, they were not very comfortable until he put in some gel inserts for them and then they were comfy and I liked them a lot better. <coughs> um, something that I'd like to talk about and then maybe somebody else can tell me if you feel this way going out into a big city that you don't live in or going out on um going to like a big supermarket or something when you're looking for something to eat that you're not going to take home and cook i feel very daunting i feel very upset i get really frustrated and then i get really upset with myself because i'm not willing to try a whole lot of new things and i don't like wasting money so when him and I go to places like San Francisco and you know we're on a limited budget number one and then if we choose to get something it's very expensive there so for me to buy food I get really anxious and I get really upset and then I would rather just not eat um, with the the band which is what I have now you know over my R and Y so I guess this is kind of like a a bob a post I have a lot of issues it, here's how I kind of broke it down for Matthew yesterday I was like if the meat is too dry I can't eat it if the meat is too wet I can't eat it if it's fried I can't eat it if it's if it's too spicy I can't eat it if it's not spicy enough I can't eat it if it's got too much sugar in it I can't eat it you know, if it's too crispy, I can't eat it. If it's dry at all, I can't eat it. It's really hard for me to find food that I can eat that won't make me sick. Very hard for me right now. Um, you know, dealing with food addiction and my band liking stuff that isn't good for me is a, it's a really hard struggle. It's a really hard struggle um, that I never really expected to have after this surgery. And I'm not complaining. I don't want you to think that this is, is it's more of a complaint. It's more of a realization that, you know, I need to kind of rein myself in because what I can eat is Rice Krispie Treats. What I can eat is loaded baked potato soup. What I can eat is um, cream of broccoli soup or cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup. What I can't eat is slaughter foods, which is my issue. Um, because things that are really good for me, it, texturally, m my stomach doesn't like them. Like salads, you forget it. Any kind of chicken, you forget it. Steak, nope. So pork, uh, carnitas, uh, adobo, um, that kind of stuff. It has to be super, super, super soft falling apart and it has to be like, it has to be made in its own fat for, for me to be able to eat it and it's not good for me and I don't like it and I don't like feeling that way. 
I don't like being angry with myself because, you know, I want something to eat and I can't find anything soft enough to go down. Like, I miss chicken. Like, I buy rotisserie chickens for the dogs every week and I, I put it in my mouth. And I want to swallow it, but I know the moment I do, it's going to hurt. And it's just going to sit there forever, and it's not going to go down. So, you know, I have a really hard time with food right now. Um, so here's what I'm typically eating um, at home right now, which is in the mornings, I have a cup of coffee to open my band. And a beautiful husband that's going to come get the phone. Um, I have a, a click shake after that for breakfast and then I will have like soup or I'll have um, like luncheon meat with cheese or like almonds and stuff like that and I haven't even really been eating that lately um, I think I've just gotten kind of in a rut with my food and I need to to start branching back out again but I think it's because I know I'm gonna have to get more fills and the first fill went so badly for me and right after surgery went so badly for me so I think I'm dealing with a lot of anxiety uh, in those areas so I need to kind of rein myself back in and um, figure out food that I can eat I, I need to be more adventurous and I need to stop like taking the easy way out which is what I've been doing like with food I've been taking the very easy way out and just grabbing whatever will go down and that's that doesn't help me because I'm not losing weight I actually went up and when I sat and thought about it after our show the other night I was like it's because I'm I'm eating slider foods because I'm so hungry and I'm so frustrated and I'm so mad um, that I can't get the stuff I want in which is, you know, rotisserie chicken, which is my carrots and hummus, you know, the, the stuff that I typically like go gaga for is not, it's not staying down. So, um, you, you can see like, I'm getting upset. Like my face does that. <laughs> like when, when I, my blood pressure rises, my rosacea, which is, I think what it's called, like acts up. So, um, I wear my, my emotions on my face. You can always tell when ridiculous I have a really busy week um, I have my eyeglass appointment in an hour um, when I tried the contacts last week I noticed that the left eye was blurry so I'm gonna have her recheck my eyes um, try contact a different kind of contacts this time because um, the one that I did try it didn't it didn't feel good I'm going to tr um, I tried color contacts forget it um, they just they don't want to go on my eye and my eyes are so dark it's very hard so I'm not even gonna bother unless I get like the the costume kind you know the glass ones and stuff like that if I if I ever decide to do color contacts I'll just go I'll go big or go home um, so I have that tomorrow I have an appointment for my spine and my hip to go look be looked at at the hospital um, I'm having some like right where your bra line is I'm having a lot of pain in that area and even with my husband like like trying to pop my back it's not helping and a lot of times like I'm just laying here in agony um, you know I <clears throat> I um, deal with bursitis a lot and I want to work out but being that my body is hurting me I don't want to make it worse so um, <clears throat> see I'm like on our talk uh, I know I'm super long-winded. I'm sorry, guys. I am gonna try to to make these a little um, a little shorter. I've had somebody mention that maybe it would be a little, you know, that watch more watchable if I would shut up a little sooner. So <laughs> I'll try to make these not so long. Um, other than that, tomorrow um, I go see my surgeon um, to talk about putting in a fill. I'm not sure what I'm gonna choose because I don't want to be sick while I'm in Texas. I leave on the seventh. Um, and then I'll be gone until the 15th so that's gonna be crazy next week I have um, my therapy my two brain pain appointments before I um, before I leave and then I leave very early in the morning um, on that Friday so I'm very nervous and I'm very excited all in one I can't wait to see my girls I can't wait to travel can't wait to have some NSVs. I'm really, really, really hoping that I don't need an extender, and I think I'll probably cry. So 
We'll see that how, how that works out for me. And I'm hoping that they have internet on, on board so I can actually sit and, and chat and stuff on, on Facebook while I'm flying because I've got a, a five hour flight. <coughs> and um, I'm gonna be taking my own food um, on the flight because I know better. Um, I don't want to be tempted by the cookies and chips and pretzels and that kind of stuff. I'd rather try to get myself back on track by being with my ladies, you know, because uh, Trisha is just in the beginnings of hers and, you know, Christina is in the beginnings of her, you know, pre-op um, diet. So being around somebody who's already on track is probably going to help me tremendously and I'm looking forward to it. So hope everybody has a great day. I had a fantastic time yesterday and I will look forward to talking to you soon. Love your faces. Bye.